day in life. This is actually gonna be a really exciting day. Happy April 1st. Hell yeah, okay, let's go to the gym. Welcome to the beast, I unleash yeah, I'm a motherfucking beast hey, hey, hey. What's up, YouTube? So, it is Friday, March, April Oh my god, it's April 1st And I'm walking out of my apartment And I'm gonna do a day in the life vlog for you guys because it's 73 degrees outside it's the first day of april and it's a great day my car is locked so this is the day in the life of a personal trainer slash online personal trainer if you guys didn't know this i guess i didn't mention it really but i am a personal trainer in at my gym that i work at so Right now I'm doing online training and have some clients there, but I'm only working part-time because of school. Day in the life of a personal trainer slash student slash online personal trainer slash um, upcoming bikini competitor. So I got a lot going on, but it's Friday and I don't have a lot going on because I don't have class on Fridays and my client on Fridays oh that's weird and my client on Fridays actually is on vacation so I have the whole day to myself I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna buy a quest bar there I'm gonna say hi to my boyfriend and cuz he works at the gym and I'm gonna go to Walmart and I'm gonna get a grocery haul for you guys because I've tried to film it literally three times and have never gotten one up and we're gonna work, I'm gonna work glutes today, Matt's probably gonna work legs, but we're both gonna squat. And I'll see how much of the glute workout I can get him to do, and we're gonna pose, I'm gonna pose. He's gonna watch and film and laugh at me because I can't walk in heels. <laughs> and yeah, day in the life. This is actually gonna be a really exciting day. Happy April 1st. Hell yeah, okay, let's go to the gym to not work out. Walmart actually went to Walmart today just because I knew that they had the new Arctic Zero flavor so I wanted to see if they were in stock unfortunately I only got a hold of one of them but here's how I'm gonna go through this I'm going to go through what I got from the store and staples in my diet that I already had here that I didn't pick up because this was kind of a small grocery haul and I want to encompass everything that can help you guys hit your macros better so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go by macronutrient source. So I'm gonna start with proteins, then go to fats, then carbs, and then other things that are like zero calorie or stuff like that. So let's start with everyone's favorite, protein. So I picked up some 93% lean ground turkey. Macros on four ounces is eight fat, zero carb, 22 protein. I already have a bunch in the fridge already cooked, but it's not enough to last me all through next week, and I don't like going to the grocery store during the week, and it's Friday today, so I figured I would just buy a little bit extra so that I have it. And then something that I already have that I didn't buy at the store today is liquid egg whites, or just um, cartoned egg whites, because it is five grams of protein, zero carbs, zero fat for one serving, and so this is literally straight protein, and it's really, really easy to mix in with, like let's say you don't want just the egg white flavor, but it's really easy to mix in one egg with like two or three whites, and so you only get that five grams of fat from one egg, and then you still get like 15 to 20 grams of protein instead of just five to seven, or however much is in a whole egg. So those are the only two protein sources because honestly I fill my protein sources with meat. Oh wait, I got, sorry. Last protein source I got is some turkey bacon. I've been missing my turkey bacon. I haven't had it in a long time. 
And usually I have usually I have oatmeal for breakfast anyways, but I definitely want to start fitting this in. One slice is two grams of fat and two grams of protein, so it's a nice light little snack. 25 calories per slice, so you can have like two slices and like not even make a dent in your macros. And another protein source that I always keep around the house is plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I love using it as like a sour cream with my meals. And it is, for one cup, nine carbs, 23 protein, and zero fat. And as long as you mix it with something, honestly, it's not bitter. Like you could eat it with berries, put some stevia in it, um, use it as a sour cream with your meal, and the flavor kind of just blends in. Um, definitely recommend that. Try this out. Such a good source of food. Okay guys, so now let's move on to fat sources. So I'm going from protein to fats because a lot of times um, protein and fat sources can kind of overlap. And so I'll show you what I mean. Like, like turkey and turkey bacon has significant amounts of fat, but is mostly a protein source. And so I got mild cheddar cheese, which is nine grams of fat per serving, but also seven grams of protein. So that's why I'm going to keep these two together. So I always use cheddar cheese with my meals. If you saw in my last full day of eating video, I always top my uh, meal mix up chipotle things with cheese and it tastes so good. So a serving, which is 28 grams, which I usually will only use like half a serving to like 20 grams. So it's a lot. Um, 28 grams is nine fat, less than one gram of carbs. So like no carbs and seven grams of protein. So I just get the like generic brand from Walmart. Then next fat source, eggs. I got a gigantic thing of these from Costco, I think last, like maybe two or three weeks ago and I'm almost out. So I got another one and a half dozen of eggs and it's, eggs are honestly probably my favorite fat source. Um, at the moment, eggs are like five grams of fat and six or seven grams of protein per egg, I think. Don't quote me on that. So those are the fat sources that I use. And now let's move on to carbs because I have a lot of carb sources just because they're fun. So <laughs> first one I got, let's start with the healthy stuff. First carb source I got, strawberries. I have strawberries every single morning. So I got the biggest one that I could find. These are like mutated gigantic strawberries. You guys see that? These are huge. So hopefully these are good. Usually I get my strawberries from Wegmans because I trust their produce a lot. Um, it's very good quality, but we'll see how the Walmart strawberries are and then I got some broccoli again I have lots of broccoli already in the fridge but it's not gonna last me throughout the whole week because I eat so much of it so I got a little bit extra just so I don't run out um, early in the week next week and then obsessed with broccoli coleslaw sorry you can't read that broccoli coleslaw I just got the generic brand and it is 85 grams, which I will usually use like, like barely half of that, um, like 40 or 50 grams and at a time. It's five carbs and two protein and 25 calories total. So this is great. And it adds so much volume to whatever food you're eating. And then I got, I actually tried something new. I got Green Giant broccoli and cheese sauce. And I'm gonna be honest, I got this because Christian Guzman had this in one of his most recent videos and it looked really good and I love broccoli and I love cheese and I could totally make this on my own, but I wanted to try it and it was a dollar, so why not? So I did. So that's a carb source. Well, it's 2.5 fat, seven carb, and two protein for uh, like almost half of the the box for so like 150 calories you can eat the whole box and then another carb source that I got was I've been looking for this forever so so Matt and I visited my dad and he had this powder coffee creamer and it's the vanilla caramel latte by Maxwell House and every single grocery store we went to um, around us just had like the French vanilla or the caramel only and I was like where's the vanilla caramel because this stuff 
is so good. It is two fat, 12 carb, and zero protein for 15 grams. So that's, um, I could probably use like half a serving and still get a really good flavor out of it because 15 grams of powder is a lot. But I mainly got this for Matt because um, he really liked it and yeah, it's really good. But I got my hands on Sneakerdoodle Dandy, one of the new Arctic Zero flavors. One serving is 1.5 grams of fat, 11 carb, and three protein. So I'm excited to try this. It's melting, I'm gonna put it in the freezer. All right, another carb source that I got today was strawberry shortcake Oreos because they're limited edition and I have no willpower. <laughs> um, and because I'm in my off season, so I'm very high carb, very high fat right now, and I'm gonna enjoy it while I can because I will probably be eating cleaner in my prep because my macros will be lower. Okay, so those are all the carb sources that I got from Walmart. So I'm gonna show you guys some carb sources that I already have here that I always, always have around. First one is fat-free half and half. One serving is 30 milliliters and three carb and less than one protein. And so this is really awesome for coffee because it's honestly the same texture, but it's only like 40 calories for, and like six carbs for my entire coffee. And it's awesome. A couple other carb sources that I always have in the house for my oatmeal and waffles especially, pumpkin puree and a little Tupperware and shredded zucchini. So these are very low calorie, low carb things to help volumize your food, especially in oatmeal and waffles. And I have the oatmeal recipe on my full day of eating video. You know what, I'm just gonna link that video down in the description because I referenced it like five times. Two other carb sources that I always have in the house. There's only a little bit left, but this is sweet potato, just baked in the oven and brown rice. I always keep a big tub of this because I love rice. And then one other fat source that I have, Salsa Ranch Bolt House Farms dressing. One serving is 45 calories, three grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and one protein. So I guess you could call this a fat and carb source, but this is really, really, really great. And lastly, I'm gonna move on to just like mixed sources of macronutrients that I got or like sugar-free stuff, seasonings, whatever. So I picked up a Tech Crunch bar. These are pretty dense. They're 16 fat, 27 carb, and 30 protein per bar, but they're like very, very filling and they taste like candy. So if you need a meal replacement, this is really good. And then I got zero calorie French vanilla syrup. This claims that it is 000 with 10 milligrams of sodium. So I will be using that in coffee, probably with my fat-free half and half. And I also use Truvia when I either bake, which I don't bake very often. Um, I use Truvia in baking and especially in my coffee. I just use like a small little, uh, like half a teaspoon of it. But this, I like it better than Stevia. Stevia gives like a bitter type of flavor along with the sweetness that I really don't like. It has like a distinct flavor to it. And so for an all natural sweetener, I go with Truvia. Last sweetener is Walden Farms Pancake Syrup. If you don't already know what this is and you don't use it, this is legit pancake syrup. I have no idea how they made it zero calorie, but the macros are literally zero, zero, zero for everything, a little bit of sodium and um, a little bit goes such a long way with this, and I get it at Wegmans. It's not really at the local grocery stores here. That's giant. And I didn't see it at Walmart today, so if you don't have this in your normal grocery store, go find it because this is worth it. Like, 50 carbs from normal syrup is not worth it. And even the like sugar-free, low-calorie pancake syrups are probably like six or seven carbs for one serving and sometimes you just can't afford that. So this is zero. And then last things are seasonings and these are my favorites. First one is garlic parmesan, popcorn seasoning. But garlic parmesan works really, really well with vegetables and my turkey, vegetable, rice meal and things like that. Nacho cheddar. This works really well with eggs and egg whites. If you're getting bored of eating plain egg whites, then add a cheesy seasoning. And lastly, 
Himalayan pink salt. So Himalayan pink salt is, in my opinion, better for you than table salt because it's more natural and it actually helps to regulate your body's water fluid retention rather than just making you hold water weight and it has less sodium than normal table salt does. Oh, and lastly, I got a gallon of water because it's so. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this grocery haul and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, so this is my classic meal, turkey, rice, broccoli, salsa ranch, and sriracha, and cheese, and I'm putting plain Greek yogurt on it. And here's a tip, guys. So this, like, liquid at the top, don't dump that out because that's, um, that's what the probiotics from the yogurt are in, is in that, like, top liquid. So if you don't want to be missing out on all the digestive health benefits of Greek yogurt, then mix the little liquid on top into it. All right?